Number one. <laughs> Close or shut? Oh, it's not. It's not in order. Okay. Hey, welcome everybody. Uh, the or you you can put them in the right order. Welcome to our latest video on our walk to the Run Club, like we usually make our our um, personal finance videos on the walk to the Run Club because we get it's a downhill walk and we don't have to get out of breath and we look like we're in shape, <laughs> right? Right. <laughs> not really. Yeah. So what are the? Uh, this, these are basically five tips money-saving tips that will make you a millionaire. We've done all the, all kinds of other videos, but this is just like some common sense, just regular things with the whole point of saving you money so that you can, of course, use it to save and invest, which is like the point of our other videos. So what's the first one? I'm gonna go in order by what it typically costs you the most, from the most to the least. Because okay. the people's number one expense is housing, so house hack. House hack? Yes. Okay, so do you guys know what a house hack is? Because I never even did house hacking until after my first marriage ended. Because I will say that my first, uh, uh, my starter marriage, whatever, right? <laughs> she uh, was not interested at all because kind of like it takes, people say it takes a certain person to be a landlord. Well, it also, I guess you have to have a certain... Uh, mindset to allow others that you don't know to live in your house because that's what house hacking is about because usually if, if there's a house or a condo or townhouse or single family detached or whatever it might be it was designed if that's what it is for just one family unit but house hacking is basically turning it into several different units with people that you either barely know or don't know or maybe just a friend of yours and they're only gonna be there temporarily you know because it's your house Either you're either you're a rental, <clears throat> you're a renting of the house, or you own the house. You could do it either way, and it could be either like a house that you have a lease on, that's a long term, or you could even not even live there and you can house hack it or call rental arbitrage on Airbnb or something else and not even live there. But I'm talking about one where you live there because arbitrage is much more complicated and it's actually very hard to do right now because of the peak of the real estate market. But house hacking is always possible to do because you're basically taking a room or two that you don't need a bedroom or your whole basement if you remodeled it I yep <laughs> sorry my nose is running from my bleach incident yesterday <laughs> that's what it is that's a different oh, yeah. video though. yeah yeah okay so you're basically taking rooms that you don't absolutely need that are bedrooms or can be bedrooms like denise said and you're renting them out and i'd say based on this video 2022 the least you're gonna get anywhere is five to six hundred dollars a month I would say for a room, right? I don't care where you are. Yeah. So that, and if you have a couple bedrooms, that's it can easily pay your whole mortgage. And you can even divide up a portion of the electricity and internet bill. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Yeah, because actually, we I would highly recommend you do do it with a portion of the utilities, specifically the the ones that are variable, like the electric bill, to motivate your people to conserve energy. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, yeah. there's no motivation yeah. there. So don't just do a straight, although I did it, actually, I rent, we, we rent out some a room in a condo where we are. We, uh, I also have straight rental properties, but the rental arbitrage works well if you only need to be there for some of the year, part of the year, like we do, and we don't need the whole house. But also, um, I want to tell my own story. I did this too after I got separated, because like I said, my ex would have nothing to do with that, okay? But the minute I was like on my own, responsible for myself, I was a grown adult. I was almost 40 years old. I just found a room in somebody's house. It actually was a really nice house. It was a nice, much nicer house than I would ever be able to live in on my own or want to, because my whole idea was to save up money to buy my own house. I actually paid for it in cash, believe it or not. But it's because I was only paying $500 a month for everything, including utilities. And for me to live in a really nice house, I actually had two rooms there because my son had to come over too. And so that was a really good setup for me. And so you can do it, on, or it works both ways, I'd say, you know? We're not recommending moving back in with your parents. Oh, yeah. oh, Unless yeah. you're taking care of no. your parents, that's different. Yeah, no, <laughs> that's a more like a failure to launch situation. Unless you are so disciplined that you're going to save every dime and you're going to use that as a springboard to jump off into something that's amazing, uh, don't do it. It's, there's, it takes away all the motivation. So is that number one? Yeah, number two is don't buy new vehicles or lease new vehicles. <laughs> yeah, that's... Uh, a new car, new vehicle, new SUV truck is the worst investment you will ever make, except for the last year or two, actually. I want to have put that caveat in there because 
people were selling and have been selling their used vehicles for more than they paid for them over the past year or two. Vehicles that were two, three, and four years old. It's crazy. Uh, I didn't think it would ever get to that, but that's just because there was a supply chain, chain disruption and massive inflation. And that's the caveat. That's not gonna be happening again anytime soon. That kind of surge that already happened. But, um, but the reality is you're gonna drive a car for way more than two or three years. You're still gonna need another car if you need a car or a truck or whatever. So don't buy new. Uh, everybody who has money for the most part drives used cars. So yeah. learn from that. And the, There's the main reason millionaires is because drive of the cars. depreciation, in, in case you haven't heard. <clears throat> and it happens almost immediately. It, so yeah, if you wanna be a millionaire, this is, this is money saving happens to make you a millionaire. We need to get you from a low net worth to a high net worth as soon as possible. And these two things right in the beginning, they will definitely do it. So right after housing and transportation is food. Don't Ooh. dine out. Don't dine out. Yeah, I, I was talking to Denise. I didn't know Denise until like almost six years ago. But before that, she didn't know me. When I was living uh, in another state, which actually she, she, you know, I started the house in Maryland where I used to live. I never went out. We never went out because it's, th it is, I mean, do the math. <clears throat> Unless you're eating some dollar menu special, which I'm sure is not good for your health. Yeah. And only that and nothing else, okay? Mm -hmm. You're going to be paying three times as much for the same food to have somebody else prepare it than for you to do it three times as much that is huge so that's a there's a massive potential savings there and it's one that you have to follow if you want to become a millionaire especially as soon as possible otherwise it's going to take you forever in a day before i met mike i was dating someone who spent thirty thousand dollars a year on restaurants what? <laughs> all i had to do was check his credit card <clears throat> statement you what do you mean you checked his credit card statement oh 30 no, that's all he had to do he admitted it and he had friends who also said what was he buying thirty thousand dollars a year on restaurants uh entrees alcohol main courses dessert every night <laughs> it oh will easily gosh. cost you that's that much your health <laughs> the price for your health if you want to health optimize, unless you're near Green Fair Organic Cafe in Herndon, Virginia, that's the only restaurant that's health optimizing. It's going to be health destroying, health degrading. Yeah, so, um, cook oh, we didn't your talk own about food. That. Maybe even grow your own food. Yeah, but that's, <laughs> that's, that's the subject of another video. That's super cheap. Um, buy clothes second hand, like on ThreadUp, Poshmark, Thrift Shop. Wait, which number are we on? Or Four. Four, okay. Or Four just, out of five. Or just don't buy more clothes. They last a long time, especially as polyester yeah. stuff. Yeah, most guys last. never buy clothes anyway. They last like 20 <laughs> or 30 years. <laughs> so why do you need new clothes? Yeah, don't do the fast fashion thing and buy it secondhand used, whatever you want to call it. Uh, do not buy new because there's also a massive, it's a massive depreciation hit the minute you buy that item. It's just like the new car. That's the problem. That item is, it's, it's a depreciating asset. You want to you do not want to buy depreciating assets. You want to buy appreciating assets. And if you get a really good deal on some used clothes, if you get a really good deal on a used car, somebody who's desperate to sell it, you're going to make money. You know, that's the thing. You're going to make money. I mean, I'm not in, I mean, because almost always you lose money, but you can make money if you're smart. Uh, you can't buy used underwear, though. You know, uh, or bathing suits. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then the fifth one, get rid of all your subscription services that aren't required. Yeah, and this is the difference between a want and a need. Like I was saying in that first one, the house hacking, rooms you don't need, like absolutely need. Now subscriptions for anything that you don't need are gonna add up fast, right? Yeah. I mean, okay. they just drain your bank account a gym every membership. month. Uh, we went out of state for six months last year and I had to cancel all my stuff because I, I didn't have anyone to reliably check my mail. And I canceled three magazine subscriptions, three clothing subscriptions. I didn't even know you had <laughs> magazine subscriptions. Uh, I, I know about the clothes. One. Some of these subscriptions still are, are so hard to stop once you get them started. Yeah. So I would say okay. don't even start them. You know, you know that these things are going to be working against you that's had, for sure i had credits with one and i couldn't cancel it or i would lose all my credits and i'm still trying to use up those credits oh really from a shipment that i didn't return fast how enough. much money is that how in credits it, it was like four hundred dollars holy <laughs> shit yeah, yeah so they terrible. get you they got you stuck between a rock and a hard place yeah. that's what happens so that you can't get away you can't they, they once they get you they will once you're in was it like the mob right you you you, uh -huh. you can never get out <laughs> i've got audiobook subscriptions too that i'm getting too many credits on i need to cancel it for a while 
and your Netflix. We gotta watch that one book. Yeah. <laughs> you're not using your Netflix. I don't cancel mine because I know my kid still uses it. Uh oh. <laughs> but all, we should all this cancel stuff, it. Yeah. This stuff oh, oh, well, we might get, we might start watching when we start getting on the road again. If you need to have mobile entertainment, I guess that's one way. But uh, we'll see. Netflix stock's going way down. They said they're going to crack down on other people using passwords, in which case you can't do that. They should just saying anymore if they crack down on it. And who knows if their stock will ever recover. I don't know. But that's it. I think we're done for this video, right? Yep. Okay, well, let us know some of the money-saving tips to make a millionaire, to make someone a millionaire as fast as you can down below. If you skip some, I know there's a million things. These are the ones that we thought were the most important and the most bang for your buck or time or effort or sacrifice because it's going to hurt a little bit probably to do these things but uh, hopefully i know the other way is better it, being able to do life in your own terms and have financial freedom is way better than any of those things oh yeah and um i canceled two makeup subscriptions oh yeah. <laughs> it, it, oh my gosh oh my gosh another one i used to love getting things in the mail so <laughs> knock it off and you'll retire sooner bye bye